everybody, I'm Sydney DeJore and welcome back to lesson number four. We're going to talk about vocal projection and why it is so important to carry good vocal projection throughout your performance. So firstly, what is vocal projection? Vocal projection is using dynamics and to fully release your voice. So an unprojected voice would sound almost muted and stunted. So for example, using the song that we used in video lesson number two, John Legend, All of Me, I'm going to show you the difference between an unprojected voice and a projected voice. So this was a clear example of me not projecting my voice, so it sounded muffled and it didn't sound like there was any effort or emotion put into it whatsoever, which will massively affect your performance. So now I'm going to show you me singing that part of the song again, but projecting the vocals clearly. So, there you saw me singing the same part of the song again, but projecting clearly this time. Hopefully you think it sounded better too. Now, projection is mainly using something called dynamics, which is a musician's term for volume. So it's nothing overly complicated. So when you're projecting your voice, you need to make sure that you're using volume to make sure that everyone can hear what you're saying and can understand your phrasing. It also helps put emotion into the song because what's the point in singing a song without any emotion? To project properly, you need to make sure that you're breathing in all the right places. And most of the time, this is common sense. However, if you get to a certain part of a song and you think, oh, I'm struggling for breath here, therefore I'm not projecting, then if you print out the lyrics of the song and note everywhere that you're taking breaths and sing through the song again, you'll notice there's more gaps then you realise and you can actually take some more breaths so that you don't run out of air to project. Now, breathing plays a massive, massive part in singing, as I said in video lesson number one. And the warm-up of the vowels, the e, e, a, o, u, is a really, really good one to practice to help strengthen your voice so that you can project more. When you're trying to hit high notes in your chest voice, which is possible, you will be needing to use a lot of projection to get up to the top of your range. Now, I'm going to give you an example of this. So, if I was going to hit the all of me in my head voice, that was easy, like I just did that. Now, and I don't have to overly project to pronounce that. However, if I was going to do that in my chest voice, I'd really need a lot of air and a lot of projection to get that out. So, doing that in my chest voice would sound like this. All of me. See, you have to really, really project and have some volume behind you to be able to hit those notes, stay on the notes without falling off and going flat. Please remember, when you're trying to project your voice, not to try, try and go too high and overly project, because otherwise this can cause a vocal strain, which could cause temporary or permanent damage to your vocal cords. Only hit notes in your chest voice using projection that you know within your vocal range.